ishirini na nne na ishirini na tano kama vile nimekwambia nitaongea sana kuhusu umilele praise the name of the lord kuishi na mawazo ya umilele kuishi na mafikira ya umilele katika mambo haya ambayo e, tunaishi ndani yake so Matthew 24 it is a word ambao imesomwa sana wengine utakuwa umeyasikia muda mrefu lakini ninaamini ya kwamba yatakusaidia e, Biblia inasema namna gani kutoka mstari wa 36 uh, na ukisoma chapter 24 inaongea habari ya signs za siku za mwisho na wakati ule utakapofika yale ambao yatawakumba watu wengi yatakuweko katika e, watu wengi jina la Bwana libarikiwe e, just a moment uh, so wakati ambapo tunaongea habari ya mambo yale yatakayokuepo e, yatakuja mambo mengi na Yesu akafundisha mifano ambayo itafundisha watu habari ya siku za mwisho mifano ambayo itaonyesha watu wakati siku zile zitakuwa zinafika lakini lile ambalo nataka tusikie ni hili e, Biblia inasema but concerning that day and hour Matthew 24 verse 26 but concerning that day and hour no one knows not even the angels of heaven nor the son but the father uh, only as where the days of noah so will be the coming of the son of man praise the name of the lord katika hili neno yesu ni warning anapeana na anapeana warning ya nini warning kuhusu watu kuto relax kuhusu kurudi kwake na kuhusu maisha ya umilele not relaxing knowing that he will come the master will come and he says the day is not known to anybody praise the name of the lord not even the angels in heaven know concerning that day it will just come it will be abrupt it will be sudden praise the name of the lord and katika ile hali anapeana mawazo yale now why i've uh, given you these words or i've read this word because it is good for you to know if you don't have a mind that ha- is centered on eternity your mind is not concerned about the eternity nitakwambia kuna possibility ufike mahali uishi maisha careless uishi maisha vile unataka uishi maisha vile watu wengine wanataka nitakuonyesha katika hili neno utaona mambo mengi ambayo Yesu alisema siku yake akasema haijulikani hakuna mtu aijuae siku ile mwana wa adamu atarudi Bwana asifiwe sana. Na atarudi kufanya nini? Kutuchukua, atarudi kuchukua kanisa lake, atarudi kuhakikisha kanisa lake limeingia katika umilele. And therefore, we who are believers, particularly today I want to talk about uh, being a believer and living in that mentality that is eternal. The mentality of eternity. You live thinking about eternity. You live thinking about when I live this life. Praise the name of the Lord. When I stop living the ordinary life that I know. When I get out of the world, when I get out of the uh, the two dimension world, hii dunia ya kawaida ambao watu wanaona, wanasikia, wanahisia na vitu kama hizi. Wakati tutatoka katika hii dunia, utatumika ama utakuwa katika hali ya aina gani katika maisha yako. Na kwa hivyo, ne, maneno haya Yesu akasema ya kwamba eh, katika siku za nani? Za Noah, watu walioa na watu waliolewa. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri mtu kushika ya kwamba maisha yataendelea kama kawaida. Alisema siku zile watu watakuwa wanakura, wanakunywa, wanaoa, wanapeana kuolewa, aliogea mambo mengi. Hata kama vile wakati wa Sodoma, hata tunajua binti wa Lutu walikuwa na wapenzi, walikuwa waolewe. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini Yesu akafika mahali akasema vile maisha tu ilikuwa inaendelea, divo maisha itakuwa inaendelea. And I want you to know this. Uh, when Noah if you read other historical books that are related to the book of Genesis uh, they say that Noah was talking to the people for 120 years or even more telling the people of the impending flood but the people never took it seriously because life was continuing as usual praise the name of the lord and therefore it is good for you as a believer to remember that eternity is a reality and life in eternity is awaiting us And as we are waiting to get into eternity it is good for us to live for that eternity 
because eternity in a mambo mawili ndani yake eternity in eternal life or eternity in hell those are realities we must face praise the name of the lord na kwa sababu hell haionekani na macho kwa sababu binguni pia haionekani na macho ndio watu wanaishi maisha ambao wamejawa na mchezo mwingi wamejawa na ma- maisha ambao ni kana kwamba hiyo kitu haiko lakini nikwambie hivi just because i have never met trump in person the president of the united states of america it doesn't mean it doesn't exist because we never met praise the name of the lord i've never been to argentina it doesn't mean argentina does not exist so even if you know that like those guys like in a christopher columbus who went to discover the the americas when they went to americas Uh, and they reached there and they went back to tell their people oh, there is a nice land we have seen bra 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 let me tell you the truth there are people who, who may be doubted ai hiyo miaka yote mmeenda mnasema kuna mahali mlikuwa haiwezekani lakini ukweli wa mambo the, the, the americas were there even though they were not visible to the europeans at that time they were not visible to the west africans at that time but it came a time when now we know out of the photos we receive from space and the people who travel there the news that we see every day we know the existence of that land and therefore i want to say this just because eternity is not visible with the normal eye or to the normal eye eternity cannot be seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist na ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba maisha yako ya umirere itaishi kuligana na vile ulielewa ule umirere kule utaenda utaenda tu na huwa nasema hivi whether you believe it or not eternity is a reality it will come there will come a time when you leave this body and when you leave this body utaenda katika kuingia katika umirere na umirere ni kitu cha ajabu because the thinking the way we think at na huko binguni uende mbali it is not like that the moment you exit this flesh you enter the rim of the eternity now i don't want to get much into that lakini maneno ambayo nilikuwa nataka sana tuyaangalie Eh Biblia inasema kwamba then two men will be in a field or in the field one will be taken and one left two women will be grinding at the mill one will be taken and one will be left praise the name of the lord life will be continuing as normal by the time Jesus ushers the church ushers the world into the rim of eternity kwa hivyo iwe unataka au taki Maisha hivyo inaenda tu. Yesu siku moja atarejea na ataingiza watu katika umirele. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri ujiulize wakati Yesu atarejea na kuwapatia watu nafasi ya kuingia katika umirele. Mimi nitaingia katika umirele, umirele upi? Which eternity will be my portion? Which eternity will I get into? Praise the name of the Lord. So, eh, kuna kitu ambao nataka tu tutazame very briefly. Uh, Jesus said in verse number 43 therefore stay awake for you do not know on what day your lord is coming but know this that if the master of the house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into therefore you also must be ready for the son of man is coming at an hour you do not expect sisi kama kanisa we are waiting for our master and jesus gave this example in verse number 43 who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time blessed is the servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes Ameenda safari Yesu akasema na wanafunzi akawaambia nimeenda kuwatengenezea mahali lakini nikikamilisha nitawakujia Mukristo yeyote ambaye anataka kuishi katika Ukristo ulio sawa ni lazima aishi na maisha ya umirele Yesu ameenda kuna mahali ameenda kuada na akimaliza kupanda atarejea atakuja kunichukua mimi kama sehemu ya kanisa Bwana Yesu atukuzwe Kwa hivyo mahali uliko Uweke hii mawazo ya kwamba kuna mahali pana nigoja. Maisha yale ninaishi, mambo yale ninafanya. I am not wasting my time. Praise the name of the Lord. And there are two major things ambazo ningetaka ujue when you set your mind on eternity. Number one is that you remember uh, your destination. Utakubuka kule unaenda kama ukiweka mawazo ya umirele katika maisha yako. Praise the name of the Lord. 
utakuwa na mawazo ya umirere. Number two, utakuwa na uhakika wa kile tunaweza ita itano rewards. Thawabu za umirere. Itano rewards. The time that you are spending, the things you are doing, whatever you have kept yourself away from is not in vain. Wakati unawacha shughuli zingine unaacha maisha ya kawaida kama yale wengine wanaishi unaacha kufanya yale mambo wengine wanafanya si kupoteza unapoteza wakati lakini kuna thawabu inakugojea jina la Bwana libarikiwe Yesu akasema hivi lakini mtumwa yule verse number 40 48 but if the wicked servant says to himself my master is delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with the drunkards sasa hapa ndipo nataka tushike sana kwa sababu neno hili nilitamani sana kama ningeweza kuanzia pale akasema ni nani mtumwa mwaminifu ambaye bwana wake atakaporejea atamkuta akifanya kama vile alimwagiza kazi ile aliwapea alimpea ndio kazi anafanya namba 2 akasema ya kwamba e, lakini akijiambia bwana wangu amekawia yule aliyenipatia kazi amedire akaanza kuishi kama watu wale wengine if you live with the mind of eternity you stop living like those around you and this is one important aspect of us being christians being believers we are supposed to live a different life not like the rest of the people who are around us praise the name of the lord hatuwezi kaa kama vile wengine wanakaa tunaongea kama wao tunaishi maisha ile wanaishi tunafanya mambo kama vile na wao wanaishi we have eternity ahead of us and for that reason we cannot live the way other people are living hallelujah sante kila mtu ambaye unatujoin Mungu akubariki sana kwa hivyo kama wewe uko katika mawazo ya eternity hauwezi kaa kama vile watu wengine wanakaa watu wengine ambao hawafikirii kule wanaenda they can live anyhow they can do the things they want to do But as for us who are eternal in our minds who have eternity and the right place of eternity in our minds ni lazima tuweke mawazo ya kwamba hatutaishi huku na kule tunaenda ni lazima tujue mambo kadhaa jina la Bwana libarikiwe eh tusome neno katika kitabu cha Petero wa kwanza mbili second peter uh, first peter sorry chapter 2 eh, petero aliadikia E, kanisa la Bwana akawaabia namna gani akasema beloved i urge you as sojourners and exiles to abstain from the passions of the flesh which wage war against your soul keep your conduct among the gentiles honorable so that when they speak against you as evil doers they may see your good deeds and glorify god in the day of visitation praise the name of the lord akasema ya kwamba nyinyi ambao mmeokoka muishi kama wageni na wapitaji mtu yeyote ambaye ako na mawazo ya umirele utamjua kwa kuangalia jia zake na nataka wapendwa ama mpendwa ujiulize hili swali ukiangalia tabia zako maisha yale unaishi wewe unaona kama umirele uko ndani yako unafikiria habari za umirele kwa sababu mtu aliye na umirele duniani anaishi kama a stranger ena pasa by praise the name of the lord kuna vitu viwili vya muhimu sana ambao nitakufundisha katika neno la usiku wa leo particularly as far as it concerns living as strangers and passers by praise the name of the lord mwandishi wa kitabu kingine anasema ya kwamba katika hii dunia tunaishi katika mahema mtu ambaye anaishi katika hema ni mtu ambaye hatarajii kukaa hapo milele i don't see somebody for example uh, let me give for example the state house of the republic of kenya it is not built in a tent kwa sababu gani tunajua hata baada ya president aliyeko akiondoka there will be another president and after that president there will be another praise the name of the lord mahoteli manyumba ya biashara you can imagine watu ambao mtu ambaye amekuja eh, alafu anataka kujenga nairobi alafu anajenga nyumba kubwa ya tent ya mahema tu anajenga tu na miti hapo na tu rafters ana huyo mtu utajua hii biashara itakaa hapa ikikaa sana itakuwa wiki moja hivi itakuwa imeondoka for example when we, we go for the show eh, the agricultural show we know that they build some vibandas 
where people come because we will be here for a week. And after the week, we will be gone back to our places. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo, mutu ambaye anaumirere, anaishi kama mutu ambaye anapita. Na katika hii maisha, vitu viwiri vya muhimu. Wale ambao tumeokoka, tunamjua kristo, tunapaswa tuishi na mawazo ya kwamba. Sisi ni kupita tunapita. We cannot build permanent structures here. And when I mean permanent structures, I am in a house right now. I'm in a place, good place, where I am protected from the elements, the natural elements, and also from the, danger, the dangerous people, dangerous animals, and what have you. But I want to say this. Hata wakati tunajenga hii manyumba, usijenge kama mtu wabaye ataishi duniani mirele. Praise the name of the Lord. Usijisubue. Kuna watu wengi ambao kwa mfano, wanasubuka kutafuta mali na utajiri wa dunia, mpaka wanasahau na maisha ya umirele. Unaishi ukitafuta pesa mpaka unapoteza nafsi yako. Yesu akauliza Mark uh, chapter number 8 verse number 36. For what can a man gain if he was to gain the whole world? What a benefit would he have? Or would he uh, uh, get if he was to lose his soul in exchange for the wealth of the world? Mali ya dunia ni mzuri. Hata naomba Mungu aniongeze. Kama singekuwa na mali, singe kufikia usiku wa leo. Singe kwabia neno ambalo na kwambia. Lakini I don't want to bide my life with the wealth of the world that I forget I am going somewhere. Praise the name of the Lord. How many people have been deceived wakaingia katika immorality just to get a good phone? Oh, so you, you end up defiling yourself, you give in to sexual immorality because of having the latest iPhone, the latest Oppo, the latest Infinix, the latest as a something. You, you, you show it. So when you go to people, they will know that you are a great person. To have the, uh, another car, praise the name of the Lord. But what will be the benefit? That is how people are living, forgetting about eternity. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo mpendwa, ninataka ufikirie mawazo ya umirere ya igie katika akiri zako. Wache kuishi kama mtu wabaye, atadumu hii dunia mirere. He dunia hatuko hapa kuishi mirele. We are here for a time. We are here for a season. Praise the name of the Lord. We are here and will not be here forever. We will be here for some time and then we will be gone. Hallelujah. Na kai, kwa hivyo ni vizuri unapoweka mawazo yako, uyaweke ukijua ya kwamba sitaka hapa mirele. Nisija nikajifunga na vitu vya dunia. Wapendwa nitarudia tena ni vie matubalikiwe ni vizuri sana tukiwezekana tupatikane na utajiri na utukufu wa hii dunia utatusaidia kama hatugekuwa na mali hatugeweza kufikia watu wengine kama hatugebarikiwa na pesa zile Mungu alitubariki nazo kuna mambo hatugewahi fanya katika hii maisha lakini ni vyema mtu kujiuliza baada ya kumiliki na kutawara baada ya kupata vitu vyote ambavyo nitapata katika hii dunia mirele nitakuwa wapi katika umirele. So akasema mtu yule akifikiwa na katika habari ya kufikiria, Bwana wangu amekawia, aanze kuishi maisha kama ya wale wengine. Basi Bwana wake atarudi wakati ya jui. Praise the name of the Lord. Na wapendwa tujue Yesu atarudi. It doesn't matter where you will be on that day. It doesn't matter what you will be doing on that day. Jesus will come back. Yesu anasema pale ya kwamba watu wawili watakuwa wanafanya nini? Wanasiaga unga. Watu wa, wawili watakuwa wamerara kitanda kimoja Mmoja atakwenda mwingine atawachwa Yesu atakuja siku moja Na atachukua watu na kuna watu atawacha When the rapture happens There are people who will go There are people who will be welcomed into the joy of the Father For eternity They will be there forever and ever Amen First Thessalonians chapter, chapter 5 Inaereza mambo mengi kuhusu lide jambo Tutakuwa na yeye Mirele Tutakutana mawinguni wakati tarubeta itapigwa na tutakuwa na yeye mirele. Hatutarudi katika maisha haya. Wapendwa, vumilia hii mambo unaona katika hii dunia. Sitaki uvumilie kama mpumbavu kila kitu kinakuja unasema ni Mungu hata ukigojeka ni Bwana nataka kuni, kuni, kunifundisha mambo. Wacha niwaambie wapendwa, kuna watu wanaoteseka katika dunia lakini katika umirele wataishi vizuri. Razaro Yesu alipeana mfano akasema palikuwa na tajiri na Razaro masikini na huyu masikini alikula ile inamwagika kutoka kwa meza ya tajiri lakini katika umirele 
Lazaro alikuwa kifuani mwa Abrahamu na katika umilele tajiri alikuwa motoni. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ishi kama mtu ambaye anakubuka kuna maisha ya milele, kuna maisha ambao sioni kwa sasa, siyajui lakini yatakuwa. Sijui vile kutakuwa. Sijui nani atakuwa wapi, lakini ninajua kuna umilele. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God for the people that I have ever had watu ambao waliokoka baada ya kuona maono ya umilele baada ya kumuona eh, Yesu baada ya kuona hell praise the name of the Lord and now I pray I would really pray that some people may you receive a revelation of eternity because it will deliver you it will help you to live a different life praise the name of the Lord I remember one day when I got born again I was not long it was not long after getting born again I remember one vision that I saw one morning as I was praying and I saw hell and I saw the things the fire in hell and how it was engulfing people inakaa kama billows you know kama waves inafunika watu and then I would see people falling into hell I had never read books like the uh, uh, Waterborne Kesso so that he preached the, the whole of Africa and the world Uh, with the vigor that he did but i remember when i saw that and i saw what was going on in hell i remember it shook me and that is one of the things that keep me living for eternity praise the name of the lord about 10 years ago i had another visitation and where i saw heaven where i saw the eternal realm of god and i saw the things there and i saw how quiet and how peaceful how beautiful it is beauty beyond the description and it helped me to shape my life to live for eternity praise the name of the lord kwa hivyo mpendwa mahali uliko nataka ujia ujiulize maswali ninaishi kama mtu aliye na umilele ama bere yake ama ninaishi kama mtu ambaye ataishia maisha hapa duniani Ninaishi kama mtu ambaye atamuona Mungu na kuishi na yeye milele ama ninaishi kama mtu ambaye hajali Mungu huyo akae vile anataka kukaa so there are scriptures ambazo eh, ningetaka ku mention Yesu akasema ama Petero ametufundisha akasema ya kwamba live like pilgrims kama wapitaji msiishi kama watu wabao watakaa hapa milele Bwana Yesu asifiwe manyumba na utajiri Heshima hii ya dunia hatutaishi nayo milele. Hili jina nimepewa na watu. Wakaniita mchugaji, wengine waniita askofu, wengine waniita mtume, wengine waniita nabii wa maisha yao kwa sababu ya kazi ile nimefanya. Haitadumu milele. Maana kule kwake hakuna titles. Usiishi kwa sababu ya jina. Unaishi kwa sababu ya vile jina una jina kubwa. Unatafuta majina makubwa. Unatafuta kushidana. Watumishi wenzangu usijali ya kwamba pengine wewe hujajenga cathedral hujahubiria watu maelfu hujahubiria watu mamia hujafikia crusade kama ya bonke jiulize hivi if jesus was to come today mimi ningekuwa pade gani ya dunia bwana yesu atukuzwe maneno haya ninajua ni maneno mazito e, na ni maneno yaliacha kuhubiriwa mimi sijui tutafanya nini turudisha ijiri hii kwa sababu watu wanapaswa wasikie na wajue ya kwamba kuna umilele unatutagulia hapa bere. Praise the name of the Lord. Eh? Agalia katika mstari wake wa wangapi? Matthew 25 and verse number uh, 20 that one sorry. Biblia sema kwamba when the son of man comes in his glory and all the angels with him then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats and he will place the sheep on the right but the goats on the left praise the name of the lord wakati mwana wa damu atarejea atasimama ata dunia yote na mataifa na watu wote watasimama mbele zake naye atawateganisha ataweka kodoo upande wake wa nini wa kulia na buzi mkono wake wa kushoto there will be a separation when that time comes what will be my portion where will i be in the divide line bwana asifiwe sana nitakuwa upande gani wa the dividing line nitakuwa kushoto pamoja na mbuzi ama nitakuwa kulia pamoja na kodo nitakuwa mmoja wa wale wataambiwa kwa sababu neno linasema naye atawaambia kodo ingieni praise the name of the lord come you who are blessed by my father inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world 
ridhini ufalme mlio wamekewa. Kuna ufalme Yesu ameuweka. Kuna ufalme ndio maana anaitwa mfalme wa wafalme, bwana wa mabwana. Na ufalme huo atawagawia watu. Lakini ni vizuri ujue si watu wote watagawiwa. Si watu wote wataridhi ule ufalme. Kuna watu watatupwa kwenye moto wa milele. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yesu akasema na ukiangalia katika hili jambo akasema ni mambo gani yalikuwa anatafuta watu wale nilikuwa na jaa mkanipea chakula nilikuwa uchi mkanipatia nguo nilikuwa jera mkanitazama nilikuwa mgojwa mkaniangalia akasema katika lile jambo igieni katika raha ya baba yenu kuishi katika umirere doing what is right let me tell you this no one will get into eternity into the kingdom of our father on the account of how much money he amassed in the world and i'm not against money i would really want if you have money that you don't need right now you can send it to me for i really need the money i need there are things that i would like to do praise the name of the lord there are people i would like to reach if i only had the means and the way to reach them so i would ask you if you have the money please bring it i will utilize it properly but i want to say this by the grace of god If you amass all the wealth in the world but forget that you are headed to eternity hakuna mtu ataingia kwake on the account of wealth praise the name of the lord on the account of the life ambao uliishi in Oplands you know you lived in one of the leafy suburbs in your country or in your in your city you lived in the best of the places where you don't know dust your vehicle can be washed once in a week because they can be cleaned once in a week because you, are, you don't live where there is any in the dust or whatever i want to tell you this no matter where you live no matter where you go to hospital no matter where you are treated no matter which insurance you have whether you have life you know i remember there was one lady i may not remember the name really whether she is still alive she had an insurance for her legs because she wanted to be sure that even if uh, something was to happen she would have the best medicare for her legs Nobody will go to heaven. Nobody will go into the kingdom of God because or on the account of how they lived in this life in wealth or in poverty. But it is about what you do in this life. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo mpendwa, ni vyema ujiulize hili jambo. Ninapoishi, mawazo yangu ya umirere yako namna gani? And I want to say there are two positions. Number one is the position of ignorance concerning eternity. Na wale wanaishi in ignorance ndio wanaishi maisha ile wanataka wanafanya mambo yale wanataka hawajali they don't care they live the way they would want to live they do the things they want they live kama huyu mtu vile ameambiwa katika Mark, eh, eh, katika eh, Matthew chapter 25 ambao ameanza kupiga ameanza kulewa ameanza kufanya they live that life the ordinary life the life like other people but wale ambao wanakubuka mimi nataka kumuona Mungu. Hebrews chapter eh, chapter eh, 12 and verse number 14. The Bible says without holiness no man shall see God. Tafuteni kuwa watakatifu. Usije ukakosa kumuona Mungu. Jina la Bwana libarikiwe. Ukiweka lile jambo nataka kwenda kwake. Ni vizuri pia ujue ya kwamba. Nilikuwa nimesema kuna mambo mawili nataka kukuelezea. Eh, la kwanza Hebrews 11 verse 6 wakati unaishi katika mawazo ya umirere you are always considerate of eternity as a better place particularly i'm talking to believers eternity in the kingdom of god will be better than the things that we can see dio paulo akasema ya kwamba mambo yale tunayotazama kule mbele i believe this should be in uh, uh, the book of romans chapter number 8 akasema ya kwamba kwa sababu ya kutazamia mema yaliyo mbele shida zile tunapitia katika hii dunia hatuoni kama ni chochote haitusumbui praise the name of the lord mm? for that which we are awaiting kile ambacho kiko mbele tunaweza ishi maisha bila kuokopa bila kusubuliwa na mambo yale matatizo haya ni ya muda praise the name of the lord na kwa sababu matatizo haya ni ya muda basi ndio maana tunafuatilia yale yaliyo bere na ndio maana hatujali hata kama tunateseka 
Paulo akasema hata kama tunaumia tunajeruhiwa ah hiyo kitabu cha Romans ukisoma inasema akauliza ni kitu gani kitatutenganisha na Mungu verse 37 kwenda chini akasema hakuna ni hatari ni maraika ni kifo ni magonjwa ni mateso haiwezi kututenganisha kwa sababu gani mtu yule anaangalia mbele anaona utukufu uliowekwa Hebrews chapter number 12 Yesu waka, eh, Paulo anamueleza Yesu akasema looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who for the glory that was set before him ignored what the problem and the pain of the cross at that time for the glory ahead in ignorance one nimesema hii ni position watu ambao hawana ile umilele katika akili zao ndio wanaishi maisha reckless maisha careless maisha ya ulevi maisha ya urafi na wapendwa nitawaambia hivi kuna walevi wengi wataitwa walevi wa nini wa maisha ya kawaida walevi wa vitu zile watu wanafanya walevi ambao hawange wacha mambo fulani unajua ulevi sio ulevi wa pombe peke yake hata ulevi wa televisheni ni ulevi ulevi wa ku, wa, ku, wa, 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 wa kwenda kuketi mahali tu aido ulevi wa masengenyo ulevi wa maneno ya watu you cannot stop talking about other people ill speaking other people backbiting you cannot stop you are a drunkard in that area so it is good a person who has eternity in mind will live a different life ignorance of eternity will cause you to live a different life praise the name of the lord wapendwa mungu atubariki na kubariki na mali na utajiri lakini siku zile utakuwa na mali na utajiri usisahau umirere mawazo yako ya keti ya kimuona mungu na umirere wake. Bwana asifiwe. Akili yako ikae ikikubuka ya kwamba Mungu ndiye mwisho na katika umirere ndiye anaamua mahali nitaketi. Usije ukakaa kama mtu wabaye. Hii maisha ninaishi itaishia hapa. Don't be ignorant. Dio Yesu akasema muwe watu ambao mko makini. You are awake. You are conscious of eternity. Praise the name of the Lord. Do not live right ignorant of eternity. Wakati ambapo eh, watu wanakufanya mambo yale wanakufanya, wale wanakukosea, wale wanakuonea, live with the mind of eternity so that you don't live with the offenses. Unajua kuna watu katika hii dunia kile kitazuia ufike biguni kwa Mungu, utakosa kufika kwa sababu ya kubeba watu. Maana haukukubuka umirere. Katika umirere hakuna mtu ataingia na uchafu. Hakuna mtu ataingia na mnakumbuka Yesu alisema kwamba mtu amchukiae dugu yake ni kama muuaji. Yohana alituadikia mambo hayo. He who hates his brother is like a murderer. Praise the name of the Lord. And Jesus himself said that I believe this should be in Matthew chapter number 5. He taught when he talked about the beatitude. He said it was said before that you shall not hate your brother. But I want to say to you, he whoever hates his brother is like a murderer. Praise the name of the Lord. Amemuua moyoni wakati kuna chuki wakati umebeba machungu katika maisha ni watu wangapi watakwama katika murango na ndio Yesu akasema murango ni mwebaba murango ule wa umirere ni mwebaba sana ni vizuri ujue katika webaba wake hautaingia ukiwa umebeba watu katika moyo na chuki hiyo ndi kweli watu wamekukosea lakini ishi na umirere ujue ya kwamba hauwezi ishi na mambo Yesu akasema mtasamehe kutoka mioyoni hamtasamehe kutoka kwa kinywa you will forgive from the heart Forgive, let go of the pain, let go of the bitterness for the sake of eternity. Praise the name of the Lord. I am not just forgiving you because I am feeling very good when I forgive you. I do not forgive you because I, 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 you deserve forgiveness. No, but because of eternity, I will forgive you. Be- because of eternity. <coughs> sorry. I will live a life free of sin. Kira kinafanya nikose kufanya dhambi. Si kunishinda zimenishinda. Sio kushindwa tulishindwa kulewa. Sio kushindwa tulishindwa kwenda kutafuta watu na huko. Sio kushindwa tulishindwa kuiba. Tumewahi pata opportunity. Wakati unaona wengine wetu tuko pale na tunafanya mambo yale tunasahili kufanya. Si ati kwamba hayo mengine ni kutushinda yalitushinda. Ni kukubuka tunakubuka umirere. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Number uh, two, the last thing that I would like you to understand is that uh, in eternity If you are living for eternity you will look for ways to attain the standards of where you are going praise the name of the lord uh, i've seen people maybe who wanted to go to other countries 
And for example, if you're traveling to many of the countries in the world, uh, from some like the East African countries or majority of the tropical, the countries within the tropicals, there is an inoculation you must take. Inoculation against uh, yellow fever. It is compulsory. You, you, you are not requested whether you think it is right or not. You fear injection or you don't fear. Or whether you like it or not. You are a religion. They don't care. They tell you because of where you are coming from. You must prepare yourself. And some of these countries. Why you are inoculated is lest you be infected with yellow fever when you go to those countries. So you prepare for it. Praise the name of the Lord. Kuna inchi ukitaka kwenda, ni lazima uende ukiwa uko tayari kuhusu kule unaenda. Ile ni inchi, for example, uwezi niambia nataka kwenda kuishi Germany, and then you don't learn even a little German. What will you be speaking? Which language will you be using? Germans don't understand English. Majority of them will speak German. If you are going to Spain, you must learn Spanish. If you are going to Uganda, at least you must uh, know English. If you are going to Tanzania, you must know Swahili. Why? Because that is the language that is used. Praise the name of the Lord. If you go to some countries like Mozambique, you must learn a little of Portuguese because that is the language they understand. That is their second language. I want to say this. If you, you go to India, you go to other countries, you, there is a language. There is a way of life. Hallelujah. Uh, if you leave your country, no matter where you are, and go to another country, that is when you realize cultures are different. Like if you go to the West African countries, one of the things you realize uh, I have been informed. I have never been there uh, for, uh, as for me. But I have been told by the many people that I have met who have been there is that their food mostly, it will have pepper. Hot pepper. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni lazima chakura itakuwa na piripiri. Mupikiwe nini ikuwa na piripiri ispokuwa chai pengine na hawakunyui chai kule. Sasa wapendwa ni vizuri ujue ya kwamba kulingana na kule unaenda una set standards za kule. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh? Unataka kutoka Kenya, unataka ukifika United States or United Kingdom, uanze ku drive gari, utabidi ubadilishe license yako. Uende uchukue tunaita international driving license. The reason is this, you are going to a foreign country. There are things you must understand. For example, in Kenya we drive on the left. If you go to the states, they drive on the right. Praise the name of the Lord. The way they name their, their, their uh, v, uh, parts of the vehicles, parts of the roads, they are different names that are used. And therefore, they want you to understand that. They want you to know the standards. Praise the name of the Lord. You cannot just come from the bush. Like now, if you come from some of the remotest areas in Kenya, when you come to the corner, you don't even check whether there is another vehicle. Because you know there are no vehicles there. You are on your own. You, are, you might be the only car in a radius of 50 kilometers or even 100 kilometers. I want to say this. But when you drive in cities, you must change the way you drive. Praise the name of the Lord. In Kenya, you will find the people, you are in a vehicle, there are passengers, you don't wear even seat belts, and you are comfortable. And even when you come to the policeman, they will just wave you and say hi, and you leave. But in some countries, you will be arrested for that. You will be fined for that. I want to say this. For that reason, when you are going to a foreign place, you set, you remember the standards of where you have come to. Bwana suwe sana. Ninapo malizia nataka kusema ya kwamba. Umirere upo. One, you either live in ignorance and that will allow you to live your life freely. Hauta kuwa na sheria, hauta kuwa na mipaka, utafanya yale mambo unataka, utaongea video unataka, utakura kile unataka. Because you are living in ignorance or in denial. Praise the name of the Lord. The other side, ni mutu wabaya anaishi in knowledge. And therefore, katika kutenda kwake, anatenda mambo vile anasahiri kutenda, trying to gain the standards ya kure anaenda. Na wapendwa, usiku wa leo nataka kukuombea. Si mungu akusaidie, ufikie standard za kure tuendako. Uache kuishi kama mtu ambaye, utaishi hapa mirere. Tafuta standard za kure tunaenda. Tafuta maisha inayoka ya kure tunakokwenda. Mungu wa binguni awabariki. Obirangu ni vile tunaweza fika eneo ambaro tunaishi E, katika standard zile tumewekewa katika viwango vile tumewekewa tukiangalia kufikia standard zile Mungu aliweka 
katika maisha yetu. Mungu wa mbinguni awabariki usiku wa leo. Kama umeishi maisha ya dhambi, kama umeishi maisha ambao ni compromised, remember eternity is for the pure, for the clean, for the holy, for the righteous, for people who do things according to the word of God, for people who do not live for themselves but live for God. Praise the name of the Lord. Na hakuna mtu aingiae pale bila guo. Pengine Mungu akinijalia kesho, nitataka tuje katika habari ya kuangalia vazi litakaro muruhusu mtu kuingia katika eternity. What a garment will allow me to come to eternity. I will see to that and uh, by the grace of God ninaamini ya kwamba utapata uweza wa kujua kuishi maisha with eternity in your mind. Brother, don't just do things. Live for eternity. Sister, don't just do things. Live for eternity. For eternity is a reality. It will come. We will be there one day. We will come into the presence of God. We will be found either one way or the other. Either we will be invited to join the ship or we will be cast out with the goats. So take care of yourself. Remember eternity is there. Where will I spend eternity? Na kama uko hapo, na ugetaka kubadilisha maisha kuna jambo moja ambalo nitakwambia hakuna dhambi ambao itaingia katika umirere na kwa hivyo unaweza tubu dhambi zako usiku wa leo unaweza geuka unaweza badilisha vile unakaa na vile unafanya uishi kwa sababu ya umirere na tuombe baba katika jina la Yesu you who said that we ought to live you said as a faithful and wise servants who do what we are required to do for the sake of your coming lord we do not desire to lose our souls kuna watu wamepoteza nafsi zao katika mali na utajiri wa dunia there are people who lost everything eternal everything divine because of living in the standards of those around them they allowed themselves to be lowered into the standards of those the wicked men around them i pray that god Forgive them in the name of the Lord. Forgive us in the name of the Lord. Help us not to lower our standard, not to live like those around us, not to do things like those around us, but rather to live a life that is according to your word. Father, we thank you and we honor your name. If there is a person who is coming to you tonight repentant, saying that God, I don't want to lose eternity in your presence. May you forgive them, O oh Lord, and give them a second chance for